It's a Catholic feast of the Virgin today, Mary the Mother of the Church. So we'll begin by greeting the Virgin in the Eucharist. The angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. We beseech thee, Lord, to pour forth thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion, we may be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to this Eucharist. Welcome also if you are watching online at home or your place of work. Uh, the, the feast, um, Mary the Mother of the Church, has its origins uh, with what occurred at the foot of the cross. You will see up there the suffering and dying Christ. On one side he has St. John the Evangelist, on the other his mother. And the Lord said, whilst hanging on the cross, uh, to John, Behold your mother. Uh, and from that grew this tradition that uh, Mary the Virgin is the mother of the church. And that is commemorated. So today being the 6th of June, um, if you have no other special occasion, you might care to pray for those who died uh, on the Normandy landings on this day in 1944. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred let us call to mind our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbor, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son has he hung upon the cross, Chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, and exalting in the holiness of her children, 
may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus was taken up into heaven, the apostles went back from the Mount of Olives, as it is called, to Jerusalem, a short distance away, no more than a Sabbath walk. And when they reached the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. There were Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew. James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Jude, son of James. All these joined in continuous prayer, together with several women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples, he writes, These are her children, and while they dance, they will sing. In you, all find their home. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy are you, Holy Virgin Mary, and most worthy of all praise. For from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. After this, Jesus knew that everything had now been completed. And to fulfill the scripture perfectly, he said, I am thirsty. A jar full of vinegar stood there. So putting a sponge soaked in the vinegar on a hyssop stick, they held it up to his mouth. After Jesus had taken the vinegar, he said, it is accomplished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. It was preparation day, and to prevent the bodies remaining on the cross during the Sabbath, since that Sabbath was a day of special solemnity, the Jews asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken away. Consequently, the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with him, and then of the other. When they came to Jesus, they found he was already dead. And so instead of breaking his legs, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a lance, and immediately they came out blood and water. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray then for the church and for the world 
and thank God for his goodness. Let us pray on this first day of ordinary time for the church throughout the Western world. Let us pray that though hard-pressed with modern cultures and modern social ways of living, the church can remain firm to its heritage and proclaim Jesus as the crucified Lord. We pray for bishops and archbishops, for priests and deacons everywhere. We pray also for the many, many lay people who support the work of the church, usually giving their time freely. Let us pray for a common witness to Christ. The door may see him as the universal king. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the country in which we live. Let us give thanks for our democracy and the freedoms we have to express our views at uh, elections. Let us pray for our current Prime Minister and for those who advise him and for those who will vote this evening in a matter of confidence of the Prime Minister. Let us give thanks for the many freedoms we enjoy as members of this democratic society. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for this local community. Let us pray for God's blessing on Clevedon and all who live and work here. Let us pray for those who are disadvantaged because of their age or financial position or because of illness. Let us pray that we as part of the church may support them and give value and meaning to their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who are sick. For Anne, Mike, Julie and Pauline. For Roy, David, Jane, Julia and Cara. For Maria Teresa, Derek and Beryl, Sharon, Dorothy, Evie May, Kate, Ian and Alfie. Let us pray for their health and their healing and for their salvation. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray for those who have died. We pray for our own members of family who have died, for the benefactors and founders of this church. We pray also for Mark Riggett, who died recently. And we pray for all those who lost their lives in the Normandy landings in 1944. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. And let us reflect on our lives, and let us offer to God our own personal prayers. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, 
Amen. The risen Christ stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. As far as you're able, greet each other with a sign of peace. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with the Spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. especially praise you and proclaim your glory as we honour the Blessed Virgin Mary. She received your word in the purity of her heart and conceiving in her virgin womb gave birth to our Saviour and so nurtured the Church at its very beginning. She accepted God's parting gift of love as she stood beneath the cross and so became the mother of who were brought to life through the death of her only son. She joined her prayers with those of the apostles, as together they awaited the coming of your Spirit, and so became the perfect pattern of the Church of Prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she cares for the pilgrim church with a mother's love, following its progress homeward until the day of the Lord dawns in spring. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, 
these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom, all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of the most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Mary, ever virgin and mother of God and all the saints, may praise and glorify through Jesus Christ our Lord. By now, and with you, and in you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the Son. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be saved.
I believe, Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is indeed thy sacred body, and indeed thy precious blood. Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive me my voluntary and involuntary sins, committed in word and deed, in knowledge or in and grant that I may partake uncondemned of thy sacred mysteries, for the remission of sins, and for life everlasting. Amen. At thy mystical supper celebrated, receive me today as a communion. For I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor give thee a kiss like Jesus, but like the thief I confess thee. Remember. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O oh Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary's motherly help, your Church may teach all nations by proclaiming the Gospel, and thanks to the outpouring of the Spirit, may fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. The Mass is